is half-life. Half-life is the time for half of the nuclei of a particular isotope to decay. We can measure this in three units. Mass, which is measured in grams, percentage, which we measure in percentage, and fractions. The half-life of an isotope is a constant. It is unaffected by any chemical or physical conditions. It does not change. Example one, a radioisotope of phosphorus has a half-life of 14 days. A sample of 80 grams decays for 56 days. Calculate the mass remaining. So the first thing we have to do is identify the unit that we're working in and we are working in mass. So we start off with our initial mass, which is given in the question, which is 80 grams. If it undergoes one half-life, half of 80 is 40. One half-life is 14 days. We need to keep repeating this until we get a total of 56 days. So the 40 grams undergoes a second half-life to produce 20 grams. That gives us a total of 28 days. The 20 grams undergoes a third half-life. That produces 10 grams. That gives us a total of 42 days. 10 grams then undergoes a fourth half-life to produce 5 grams. And that gives us a total of 56 days. 4 times 14 equals 56. So the final mass is 5 grams. Example two, the half-life of sodium-24 is six hours. What mass of sodium would remain from a 12 gram sample of sodium after 30 hours? So we're working in mass. So we start off with our initial mass, which is 12 grams. If it undergoes one half-life, that's a total of six hours. It produces six grams. It undergoes a second half-life, which is a total of 12 hours which produces three grams. It undergoes a third half-life, which is a total of 18 hours, which produces 1.5 grams. A fourth half-life, which gives us a total of 24 hours and a mass of 0 0.75 grams. And then undergoes a fifth half-life, which gives us a total of 30 hours, which is given in the question. So the final mass comes in at 0 0.375 grams. Example 3. How many half-lives have occurred if approximately 7.44 grams of uranium-238 remains from the original one mole sample? So what we have to be able to do is work out the original mass of the uranium. Now that's given in the question. And the mass of the uranium is 238. It undergoes one half life. 238 divided by 2 is 119. It will undergo a second half life, which will give us a mass of 59.5. A third half life to give us 29.75 grams. A fourth half life to give us 14.88 grams. And then a fifth half life to give us the value of 7.44 grams, which is the mass which is given in the question. This last example, we have a radioisotope which has a half-life of 7 times 10 to the power of 3 years. How long will it take for the 48 grams of the radioisotope to decay to give 6 grams? So we start off with our 48 grams. It'll undergo one half-life, and that half-life is 7 times 10 to the 3, and that will give us a mass of 24 grams. It'll undergo a second half-life, and the total number of years will be 14 times 10 to the 3, and give us a mass of 12 grams. It'll undergo a third half-life, which will be 21 times 10 to the power of 3 years, and that will give us our final mass of six grams so the total time is 21 times 10 to the power of three years <laughs>
past paper questions from the National 5 2015 written 2C part 1. Another radioisotope of americium exists which has an atomic mass of 242. Americium 242 has a half-life of 16 hours. A sample of americium 242 has a mass of 8 grams. Calculate the mass in grams of the americium 242 that would be left after 48 hours. So we know that the unit we're working in is grams. So we start off with our original mass. Our initial mass is 8 grams. It undergoes one half-life, which is a total of 16 hours, to produce 4 grams. This will undergo a second half-life, which will give us a total of 32 hours, because 16 plus 16 equals 32, which will give us a mass of 2 grams. It will undergo a third half-life, which will give us a total of 48 hours, and this is the number of hours that's given in the question. So the final mass of the americium 242 will be 1 gram. This past paper questions from the National 5 specimen written 12A. Technetium 99 is used in medicine to detect damage to heart tissue. It is a gamma emitting radioisotope and is injected into the body. The half life of technetium is 6 hours. How much of a 2 gram sample would be left after 12 hours? We know that we, the unit we're working in is grams, so we start off with our initial mass, which is given in the question as 2 grams. It'll undergo one half-life, which is a total of 6 hours, to produce 1 gram. It will then undergo a second half-life, which will give us a total of 12 hours, which is what we're given in the question. So the final mass of the technetium would be 0 0.5 grams.